All right, story time. All right, so <clears throat> it might have been like 2009, I think 2010. And um, out here in LA, of course, and shit. And it's one particular weekend of a good friend of mine, Mark Jackson. As y'all know, ex-NBA ball player, TV, NBA analyst. He invited me out to his house for a barbecue. So I'm like, bet, I'm there. I'm going over, real cool dude, family man. So it's always chill over there. And my brother happened to be in town visiting me. So I invited him out there. He met me out of the house. So when we get there, we get in the backyard. Reggie Miller is back there. I'm like, oh, shit. Right now, of course, Mark and Reggie played together for years or whatever. Mark, Reggie Miller is a Hall of Fame, one of the best shooters to ever do a Hall of Fame player. One of my idols, because I, I consider myself a great shooter. So I see Reggie Miller and shit. I'm like, oh, shit. And they just having regular conversations. I say a little this, a little that. And then we end up playing spades. Now, I'm going to tell you, if you don't know, Mark Jackson is a, is a spades guy. He will play you in spades. Not only is he going to play you in spades, he going to talk trash, and he's trying to win, okay? So me, Reggie Miller, Mark Jackson, and my brother Curtis are playing spades. There's probably been one or two other people over there, so I don't remember the teams necessarily, necessarily. But we played, but we talking trash. The trash talking led outside to, like, the driveway where Mark got his basketball hoop in the driveway and whatever. So we out there shooting around. You know how I go. We all competitors. We talking shit. We talking shit. Just shooting around. Well, that turned into a game of around the world. And I'm going to tell you something. When you dealing with guys like this, all competition is real. There is no soft competition. Y'all could be throwing rocks. Y'all could be having, doing whatever. They, right, they going to take it seriously. We getting out here shooting. We playing around the world. Around the world is when you go around the bass, you shoot five shots going one way, Five shots going the next way. So we all shooting. And I get to shoot against Reggie Miller. I'm like, what the fuck? But I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Because when I beat Reggie Miller, you're not going to be able to tell me shit no more. You're not going to be able to tell me shit. And I'm not shooting with him again. If I beat him, it's a wrap, right? So we get started. I'm taking this challenge. I'm like, yeah, let's shoot. Right? And they're serious. We have been shooting. We sweating. But we shooting in the driveway. So around the world ain't just around the world. One shot might be right off the porch, down a little bit. The other one might be halfway under a tree. The other one might be up, you know, because it's a, it's a driveway. So we shooting. I go first. We shooting 10 shots. I go around the horn. I'm shooting. I only made six. Now, I consider myself a great shooter. I only made six out of 10 against Reggie Miller. My only chance to shoot against Reggie Miller, and I shoot six out of 10, that ain't gonna beat no fucking Reggie Miller. I'm geek, I'm shooting against him, I'm happy to be shooting against him, but that ain't gonna beat no Reggie Miller. I'm like, what the fuck? So Reggie get a turn. So he get to shooting, and I'm like, he make one, he miss one, you know, he's shooting around, but he ain't shooting that good, he missing two. I'm like, oh shit. So he going around, he coming back around, he only got four shots left to win. Because if I tie with Reggie Miller, i take that too. Yeah, me and Reggie, we shoot the same. We got together. We did a motherfucking thing. Me and him shoot the exact same. So if we tie, I'm good with that. But he only got four shots left. And he ain't really been shooting that good either on this particular round. So I'm, I'm getting geek. I'm, and he got four shots. I'm like, oh, shit. He got four shots. If he make three of them motherfuckers, we tie. If he make four, he wins. But he better make him, because if he don't, not win. He go around, four shots. Wop. Wop. Now, he done hit the third one. Wop. And he tied. I'm like, shit. And do you know he made the fourth one, too? This motherfucker, Reggie Miller, made the last four buckets to beat me. And I'm talking about one was under a tree. One was down the driveway. One was right up by the port. I'm talking about every fucking shot that needed to be made. Four shots, and I call them circus shots. He made the last four shots to beat me, man. And he just hit the last shot and just looked at me like. And I'm just like, oh, man. So everybody laughed at this shit like that. But, man, I'm telling you, that was what you call some great shit. Even though we was bullshitting in the driveway, 
bullshitting around in the driveway, just shooting around. He know anybody shooting against him would love to be him. I was hoping he would be bullshitting. I was hoping he would just throw a circus shot. He did not. Reginald Miller made the last four shots like, guy, you not beating me, man. I was sick. So I say all that to say, you know, Reggie Miller is one shot better than me. One fucking jump shot better than me. Period. <laughs> no, man, that shit was crazy. It was a big moment for me. My brother standing on the sideline. He cheering and shit. He like, oh, he couldn't believe it. So, yeah, man, that happened, man. Shout out to Reggie Miller. Shout out to Mark Jackson, man. Shout out to my brother Curtis, man. Crazy times, man. For more stories like this, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the notification link so you can get all of the stories ASAP. <laughs> it's your man Kevin Tate, and I'm out. Peace.